Libra, welcome to your channel, Tarot Reading for end of May 2022. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's great to have you here on our channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, we do weekly and monthly horoscope readings to help you reach your soul purpose, your soul destiny, and to come into contact with and fall in love with your divine, true divine counterpart. So, welcome to the channel. If you want continued updates and guidance on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and be sure to leave your comment, uh, experience of your this reading for you in the comments below without further ado let's call on the guides and angels loved ones masters and wise ones and get right into your reading guides and angels loved ones masters and wise ones angels and archangels for the month for the end of may 2022 here now and in this moment moving forward those of us watching this reading what does libra need to know for their highest and greatest good page of cups um uncertainty is the first thing that comes to my mind with you libra uh, you may be uncertain about a certain person or, or whether or not you should give your heart or your hand to a certain person or just really where a situation is going. It may seem casual on the surface, but um, there may be something deeper underneath it that you are coming into recognition with um, that is um, becoming more clear as time goes on. Time moves forward for you specifically, Libra. Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Devil card. There's a part of you that's fearful, though, that this may turn out to be something not so good or dark and or is strain or straining on your relationship or straining on your heart, mind and soul. You may prefer to say no or you're considering saying no at this time rather than accepting an offer or some type of commitment because of fear of, well, commitment with uh, an energy or a person that is this. Now, I'm getting that this might be not what you think it is. That's the first thing I'm coming. It's coming to mind is like it's not that like whatever's in your life right now if it's in uh you know love or there's something that appears to be kind of dark i think your mind is maybe going a little crazy right now because of all the shadow energy that exists and it's telling you to be fearful when maybe there's not a reason to be fearful in this situation you are okay to move forward in this situation you are free to move forward is what they're saying and it's actually recommended for you to you know say yes to move forward to explore this if there's something in your life presenting you an opportunity, it's for your empowerment, it's for love, and it's for your greatness. It's for your your next steps in love and in life. It will lead you to the the path, they're saying. It will lead you to the path. No need to stay outside of love, destiny, or commitment anymore. You've done your work. You have paid back the dues that were owed from you in terms of your time and dedication to yourself. You can finally let the past behind you and move on. So see, we have, here we have the Six of Swords with the Seven of Swords here. And someone really looking at this like, can I really trust me, myself to move on? Can I trust this person in front of me? Can I trust the situation giving me an, oppor giving me an opportunity? Is it really going to lead me to my path? Or is it just something that's going to leave me hurt again, leave me on the sidelines again, leave me not where I want to be in my life, struggling and or losing out on that which I want and love the most? That cycle has come to a close, Libra. You can let that be in the past and let it die. Let it die, let it die. Okay. There's nothing, uh, nothing more for you when it comes to suffering through your engagements or relationships in love or otherwise, you've learned that lessons necessary to move forward past these trying times and to accept what is rightfully yours, to accept true love, enjoyment, and divine commitment moving forward in your life. You have earned the right as well to earn money and opportunity for your gifts as well. And for a dream come true to happen, should you be willing to give it a chance? Should you be willing to say yes with open arms to the opportunity that is in front of you or will be in front of you very shortly? End of May 2022 shows me that there's either an opportunity developing or in front of you now that you might be hesitant or saying no to or restricting yourself from. And they're saying, don't restrict anymore. We want you to move forward and make the decision go all in. Okay. Inside of your soul, deep within your soul here, if you tap in and ask, this decision will become very clear. This will also give you the energy and the motivation to really allow yourself to move forward 
with greater ease and flow and context and clarity. Context and clarity. They're saying no more holding yourself back. There is no more need to, to restrain yourself anymore from that which you love and want the most. It is here, it is here, it is here all for you. Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. You may feel or fear that someone has you as an option. Like you might feel like someone here or if you were to engage in love romantically with someone that they would perceive you as an option or that they're still playing games or that they're going to, again, somehow hurt you first. So there may be an inclination for you to strike first or to test the waters or to really just not fully trust someone or something with your heart. And... Um, and they're just saying enough of that. They're saying enough of that. No more need to do that because um, this person here doesn't necessarily deserve that, but also is um, is really not that. It really not whatever you may have perceived of them or about them in this situation. Okay. Hanged man, two of cups, and the nine of swords. So yeah, there's really a lot of hang up about moving forward into a relationship, into a potential union here. A lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of observation, patience, and kind of staying out of it or not allowing yourself to fully be involved emotionally or otherwise. But there's too much passion, there's too much excitement, and there's too much destiny pulling you into this. The last thing they would just want for you really was to say yes and to really just go all in with your heart, mind, and soul because it's a true soul connection that will definitely obliterate any protective shields and show you your true self. And so I see some very significant either relationship opportunity or something in front of you that's going to really cause you a lot of excitement, passion. It's going to cause you to heal and put down your shields or protective shields and help you to step more into your heart and help you to discover the truth of you. But in order to get there, you have to say yes and go all in with your heart, mind and soul. Commit to seeing and being in the truth, removing the blindfold and receiving that which is in front of you, which wants to be given to you the most in love and in life. Please say yes, please say yes, please say yes. And take the leap of faith that is waiting for you. That is your reading. Libra's three of swords in the bottom of the deck tells me there's a deep wound, deep, 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 deep wound that's just keeping you from fully taking that leap of faith, stepping into the abyss and really enjoying life in the way that you deserve to enjoy it and possibly to partner up with and be with someone in love intimately that will really help you to heal and move forward and be clear. And they're saying it's safe to let this go, right? Any broken part or hurt part inside that happened from the past, any worry, Okay, or concern or fear, five of pentacles, page of swords around the past that might be happening. It's okay to let those go. You're safe to let those go. You will not be hurt like that again. Not by this situation or this person ever again. You are safe and free to move into your divine commitment and to go all in with your heart, mind, and soul to that which awaits and wants you the most. So no more holding back, Libra. That is my recommendation and guidance for you. I hope that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please be sure to leave a comment and share your experience and join the soul family. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And uh, of course, like the video if you liked the content, but be sure to join us on our weekly Sunday live streams. We do go live every single week on Sunday, read for the collective. And we also go live throughout the week doing live personal readings via donation. So if you want one of those for you, be sure to tap in and put those notifications on as well. So you know when I'm going live. Libra, this was for your highest good and uh, healing in this particular moment. I hope it's helpful and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.